Try telling Chaz what you've just told me. And, well, see how it lands. for because that's what's gonna happen if we don't get out of here now you want Aaron coming home to you being locked up is that true he's scum is that why we hit by the coppers the other week it's a load of rubbish Gordon wouldn't hurt a fly he's done a lot worse than that you silly old bat come on we have to get out of here you haven't paid me yet for what for keeping it zipped about your crazy bird going berserk on this car we'll unzip it you tell everyone Gordon lives the abusers kids shut up just think about what you're doing to Aaron you tell him get off me He's throwing your son under the bus. Stop being so flipping selfish. None of this is helping him. None of what you just did was about caring for Aaron. You lashed out to make yourself feel better, to hell with the consequences. No. Well, maybe at first, but it felt right telling people. Well, it's Aaron's secret to tell, not yours. Well, Aaron's gone because it's a secret. Do you really think that Gordon would have had the nerve to come back to the village if everyone knew what he was? Well, that's not our call. Yeah, well, I can't speak to him about it because he's not answering his phone. I'm scared he won't come back. Not when Gordon can just show up whenever he wants. If people know what he is, then he'll stay away. He'll have to. And then Aaron can come home. We have to respect what he wants. By keeping Gordon's filthy secret. Then we just watch Aaron fall apart because he needs justice and he's not going to get it. I'm sorry, I can't respect what he wants because I can't watch him suffer anymore. Aaron's not going to lose this case. I'll think of something. I just need a bit more time to make it airtight. When Gordon goes down, there has to be no coming back for him. So please, just give me a bit more time. <laughs> 